Welcome back everybody to The Witcher 3 and we are now in Toussaint and complete working through the Blood and Wine DLC and we've done a few bits already so we now know who the beast is and it's a vampire but the quest will really be just to find some way to stop him from killing anybody else which we are currently working through. We bumped into a friend that I do not recognize, actually, so who was also a vampire, which is great. <coughs> and we're now level 40 as well, so... And as I had a look at the quest in the last part, and there's a quest there at level that which requires you to be level 46, which means that for level 40 is not the highest you can have, which is great, because that means we can actually um, get stronger. Right, so I'm going to start doing some of these side quests because I do not want to end up missing some of them. Assuming I can go up here. I've not really explored much of this um, area, but there's more stuff. Such here. are the times, my good fellow. Oh, this must be the main square. Oh yeah, it is. What's happening? Sir! Sir! A letter for you, sir! Letter? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. I'll give it to Here. And thanks. No, sir. Thank you! And I truly hope I'll be of service again. Five coins, it's nothing. Dearest. I suspect weighty affairs, rather than merely the wine festival, have drawn yeah, you huh? to Tucson. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. I recently came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you, thus I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, Please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Oh. Mm, a professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into. Indeed. And I, if I'm not mistaken, God brings peace to that it. is. Watch where you step. That is the one I would need to talk to about. Um. Mutagen, so proving mutations. The way I'd like. Greetings, brave hero. I am Raphael de Sermain, and I am the Ducal Camarlengo. I'm Geralt. So what is it you do here? I pay the knight's errand. For what? Our knights wander the roads, protecting Tusa from bandits and monsters. It is fitting and just that they be recompensed appropriately for these toils. Uh, note, sir, that should you successfully smash your hands, save a brother knight from Peru, or extract a captured merchant from the hands of cutthroats, come see me. You shall be rewarded. Hmm, duly noted. Right, let's see what he's got to Wouldn't sell. Wouldn't mind a glance at your books. Oh, we're selling books. Actually, got anything that I need? It's this. I'll take that. Don't know what that is, but I'll. Really want to have a, a look. that I can sell to it. Nope. 
Let's have a look at Gwench. Wouldn't happen to play. It's gonna get stolen. Oh, this is the one that. Um... Yeah, it puts two of two weather effects rather than just one. Oh, ooh, nice. You're not a bad draw at all. Like <laughs> Let you have this. Oh, actually, no, he still needs a. Uh... Interesting choice there. Proceeds you, Geralt. Yeah, I do need to do some exploration here because find out where everything is, all the ends and. All is in order. Come on. Why can't I call Roach? There we go. So. Come on, Roach. Okay, we've got another marker, that's great. Right, what's the one? 
Switch it. I have a matter of prime urgency and import. Monster I'm slayer. Your wound. Feeling better? It's healing splendidly, though I am to avoid trouble for some time. To be frank, that is precisely why I wish to speak with you. Want me to stand in for you? Take on some trouble on your behalf? That could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden, nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. Mm -hmm. What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged, ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... <coughs> then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped Stone Colt in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase that time. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions, to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often, come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting, her father a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. You should take my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. Okay, I... Fine, I'll look there. into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride, and fight, perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Oh, okay. Marksmanship. Awesome. Feel a need to do some shooting. Come with me. The marksmanship contest shall pit you against another for the best time and score. He who hits all his targets first wins. Hope my aim's as good as that Cupid's who shot you. Sometimes when you speak, I miss the meaning entirely. Hit the red targets. Okay.
Once more? No. Done enough shooting. Where to now? If you wish to know my thoughts, were I you, I would train on the race course ahead of all else. Okay. Let's do some riding. Roach will like that. Excellent idea. Come with me. My mama's too hot. The tourney's race differs from others you might have taken part in. You shall not ride against any opponent. How's it a race at all, then? It's a race against time. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, then finishes again in the arena. The training track, however, lies beyond the arena. We shall go there now. All is ready. Now listen, for it can be quite a challenge. Along your route stand dummies and targets. The dummies you may cut with your blade. The targets you must hit from your crossbow. The time you have to complete the course shall increase each time you land a strike, be it with blade or bolt. It may sound simple enough, yet I've seen many a knight fail this contest and hang his head in shame. During the race proper, judges throughout the course shall tally your points. For now, you may ride unperturbed by those matters. Hey. Come on, Roach. Damn it. Even some targets. Yeah, I got that one. So, have you had enough, or do you wish to ride again? I've had enough. Had enough. Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. Exactly. Where to now? Be nice to swing, do some footwork, work up a sweat. Very well. We shall practice infantry combat, one on one. Each knight opts for his own methods. Rainfarn, for instance, fights halberd in hand. Come with me. You will team with other knights to fight. The clash simulates a true skirmish during battle. Come the end, you shall fight a duel. It will determine your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best, but now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. Stand at the center of the training ground. A knight will approach and challenge you. You wish to spar? Why not? Witcher act always with reason. Courage! Do you wish to practice fighting a moment longer? Yeah. Uh, that's alright. Think Good I've fighting. seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, <laughs> but the simplest Witcher contract demands more skill than this kind of combat. Now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. 
Sorry, my scrolls are in the water. Hey ho, hey ho! Night's life is full of fun. Well, I did see a, I did see an inn up there, so I'm gonna go. Um, see if I can win a card from them. Eat, drink, and be merry. Thus spake the prophet Leviosa. Leviosa. Welcome, welcome. Tell me what you'd like. She does have quench. Are you so kind as to show me what you have to sell? Is she selling any cards? Yes, she is. There we go. Don't have that one. Huh. Some of these as well. Uh, very cordial, I think I need. Round of Gwent. Let's do it. Did you care, sir? Our sweet shining sun. Gotta do it again. Don't have any cards. Oh, actually, hold on. Maybe not. It's a notice board, but it's going to be No.
Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At okay. Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? Hmm. Ravix of Forhorn? How do you manage to dig that up? Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. One visit to the Ducal Archives. That is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. Ravix of Forhorn was the name under which you attended a feast honoring Princess Pavetta, daughter of Queen Calanthe of Sintra, on the occasion of her 15th birthday. That's actually right. That's Siri's mother. Hmm, let's honor that. The Honorable Ravix will do. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentioned using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Hmm, in that case, thanks. Have you been instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Yeah. Guillaume told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. There are contests three. A shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent. A horse race, during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. Any targets hit with bolts or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena, crowned with a duel against last year's champion. As each contest ends, its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way, all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. Okay. Convenient. Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker for prizes. The winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Whoever has the best result once all contests have played out shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword forged especially for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard, a famed master weaponsmith. Her illustrious highness had it brought all the way from Nazaire. Okay. You say something about vows? As is our custom, knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. Hey. Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? Hmm. I vow on the love of my lady, Yennefer of Vengerberg, to respect the chivalric virtues. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. The sign here, please, then fill out these forms. That is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, you shall be fitted with appropriate armor for the tourney. Hmm, shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck. Okay.
There goes my Witcher gear. I'm guessing this is the first challenge. Geralt, well, I'll be. Have you decided to turn knight errant? All jesting aside, here on a job. You in the 22? Am I? Ha! I shall square off against Rain Farn of Atre. I saw him just moments ago. A nervous wreck. Stuffing his nose with fish tech, no less. As if that would aid his determination. I guessing was that's against tech. the rules. But who's to tell the Nifgardian what to do? Listen, Geralt. I have a tip for you. The timing of your marksmanship duel is such that you shall have the sun in your eyes. Makes no difference to me either way. Nor will it give you any pleasure. Since, as it is, we must both wait. Play me in a round of Quint. Should you win, I shall swap with you. To me, a southerner, the sun is no hindrance. Fine. Maybe we'll win a Never card turn down a round of Gwent. We're back playing quite a bit of Gwent now. Excuse me, where are all my... Okay, that'll do. I guess he puts one on my side. Right, what have you got? There you go, that was easy. I congratulate you. We shall swap as agreed. We've passed the time rather nicely. Late Vivian should appear forthwith. I'm off to face my first challenge. Good luck. When do I get to face my first challenge? Patron hath fallen to me this year. Fight honorably, so that I may bestow upon one of your number the Tawny's grand prize. You have sworn your vows. You have ready body and soul. The time has come to test them. Behold Horm Akispark of the Mechtian royal line. His name's quite the mouthful, a true challenge to rhyme. His targets to be hit centrally and true. 
Ah, uh, the ones in blue. Against him, new blood, a knight unknown till now. Seraphix of Forhorn, give us a bow. The target he must with his quarrels thread are red. May the better man win. Right, so whoever gets their, all their targets first wins, I guess. Brave Sir Rapfix has hit over one half of his marks. Will he manage to prevail? Are these glories first sparks? Ravix jumps ahead, leaves the others behind. Do I see this? So I won. <laughs> this is quite funny. Sir Rapfix has won. His boat struck the goal. Yet even this cannot soothe the ache in his soul. Why not? Oh, she's giving me a crossbow. Your prize, sir. A crossbow adorned with your crest. I congratulate you. Thank you, my lady. My medallion just vibrated, so she is haunted or cursed in some way. My medallion's vibrating strongly. <laughs> Can only mean one thing magic. Uh -huh. The explanation is disappointing, I'm afraid. The fragrance I use, it's mixed by a sorceress. Hmm. To lose to an opponent such as you is a victory of its own. Oh, accept my congratulations as well. Oh, thanks. thanks. Good work! In the interim, I managed to determine which tent Lady Vivian occupies. Perhaps you could find a clue within it. You're right. Vivian's cursed in some way. Sensed it when she opened the tourney. In that case, we've no time to lose. Let us go. Okay. Yeah, let's go now. This is her tent. You must look inside. Search it. I shall hoot like an owl should someone approach. Mm. Claw marks, that's clear. Not sure what beast left them, just that it's big. Oh, fair Vivian. Thou hast Jar of concealing ointment. Powerful magic at work here. Scarlet. Thy two breasts are like. Clothing's all dark green and yellow. Seems Yen's not the only one with a fixed color scheme. Hmm. Oriole feather. Vivian keep a bird as a pet? No sign of it here, if so. Hmm. Ruxe tend to be fond of birds. Someone approaches, quickly! You were supposed to hoot. We shall speak later. We must return to the tourney now. It's it's time for the second contest. Sirs, what seeks you in my lady's tent? Inspiration? Be gone from here! She must not be aware. Uh, Here we go, the second challenge. Behold, gallant knights and ladies decorous. Gaze at the host assembled before us. Look upon chivalry's best and most storied. 
come from far lands here to seek glory. Hear now their names as I shout them aloud. Save her the titles of their presence, be proud. Palmerin, the Baron of Longfall. Linus of Metida. Rainfarn of Atra. Horm Makaspark of Meicht. Dodimir of Troy. Guy de Boisfren, in service to the Duchess. Delwyn of Craigiau. Count Ty of Dondal. And say of Lyria and Rivia a prince. Rebix of Forhorn. For Gregoire of Mount Gorgon, let out a roaring cheer. The faint power of silence, tawny champion from last year. Today's winner of contests, his victory to secure, shall face a Gregoire in a challenge severe. Does ignorance demand a part in deceit? Does someone need telling how tawnies proceed? Rafix of Forhorn, is that what you call yourself? The shot for me. To this day I bear marks where I met your steel. But don't you remember? I am Tai of Dorntal, and I swear to you, before the tourney's end, I shall have added another book to that collection on your muck. Done. Then step aside. You're in my way. The Tony's protector, the mate Vivian. The beauty enchances both beasts and men. My heart's greetings, dear knights. May my grace guide you and show you the path of honor, valor, and glory. Accept my wishes of good fortune, sir, and devote all your strength to the tourney, and only it. The time has come for you, Sir Knight. Mount your steed. Swift be your flight. Ladies and gentlemen of lineage illustrious, <coughs> soon steeds shall swarm like ants most industrious. To beat time's passage, they'll ride like the gale. What a sight to behold, what a lark, what a tale. Oh, God. Before a ceramic of forehorn dubbed, his spurs flash like lightning to a shine they've been rubbed. I thought he was going to have a few more lines to do. Come on. He's up! We the thunderous roar, hoofs pounds the ground. No legion of drummers could make such a sound. Monsters, wild cats, friendly. I will not attempt to shoot anything because every time that I have done that, I failed. That is much easier. To where I go? Come on, come on, come on. Damn it.
option is, do I get to do it again? Or is this it? A failure, a loss, a tragic trip. Let us hope with his sword he makes no such slip. Come with me to the feast. We shall await Vivian together, wine in hand. Lead the way. Well, I guess that's uh, the prize we're not getting. Although, to be fair, we're not here to win prizes, we're here to find out what's going on with Lady Vivian. So, any thoughts on Vivian? Her beauty's striking. <laughs> that is not what I ask. Still too early to say anything I'd be willing to stand behind. Managed to figure one thing out. She uses powerful magic, masking illusions. Do you mean to say she might in truth look different than she seems? Only guessing right now. Found some clues. Got me wondering if your beloved Vivian's not a Bruxa. A Bruxa? You mean a... a vampiress? Not sure yet. We've still some time before Vivian arrives. Let us drink. Bye. To Vivian, may you find the means to aid her. To Vivian. Ah, when I first laid eyes on her, I finally understood what all those poems and ballads were trying to say. Love's not poetry alone. Sometimes it's prose. Sometimes it's just plain ugly. You say that only because you do not know Vivian as I do. A life with her would be sweetness itself. Actually, you don't know her all that well either. Okay. Dropped something. I demand satisfaction. You've insulted me twicely. And twicely ought to be enough. You refuse to duel? Then I shall show you how I treat cowards! Really? So tough. Three nothing, Ty. Might want to give some serious thought to whether you want to face me for a fourth. I shall kill you, freak! You got your chance, sir. You failed to seize it, and now you must leave. We shall meet again, mutant. I do love it how they know that he's a mutant, and nonetheless, they still tr they still think they're stronger than he is. Surely if you do that, you were up against someone who has a very clear advantage, you wouldn't even try it. But, uh, I guess, I guess, not, it's not how it always goes. My heart swells to behold this beautiful celebration of valor and honor, and to witness you, who embody the chivalric virtues in your lives strive for greatness yet after a time of combat must come a time of peace and respite thus i invite all who fought in the tourney to this feast held in your and none others honor and should any among you crave solitude private tents await you nearby the group melee shall take place on the morrow glory shall be within grasp for each and every one of you the best among you shall have the honor to face our reigning champion, the famed Grégoire de Gourgon, victor of last year's tourney. Celebrate 
Make merry, revel as you will. He's massive. Yet be mindful of the trial that awaits you tomorrow. Follow her. We shall meet in your tent before your last contest. You must help her. I will follow her, but before I do that, I'm going to bring this to a close. Um, I don't know how much longer this is going to be. Um, so, we are delving a little bit deeper into what's going on with Miss Vivian here, and whether she's cursed or whether she's just a monster herself. So. We'll find out soon enough. Um, but before we do that, as per usual, stay well and safe, everybody. And if you've enjoyed this part, don't forget to let to hit that like button, not lick it, hit it. <laughs> and with that said, I will see you next time.